Hi folks, Sang here, and this is a bit of a spontaneous video about these ceramic keycaps that I've wanted to make because, yeah, these are the most surprising thing in the custom keyboard hobby that I've tried this year, hands down. They feel and sound so, so different from any other keycaps that I've tried, and it's all down to the material they use. So your normal everyday keycaps are like these, made from some blend of mystery plastic, and they sound, and more importantly here, feel like every other keycap you've probably used. Take a listen. Now this is a ceramic keycap from Sarah Key, and it sounds and feels completely different. This single key weighs about 3.5 grams, or about the weight of 3 or 4 of these plastic keycaps. As a result, it produces a really nice low-pitched thock. Here it is on the same switch, just different keycap. And as a point of comparison, this brass keycap weighs about 12 grams, or as much as 3 or 4 of these ceramic keycaps combined. So yeah, as you'd probably expect, the heavier keycaps have a dense, low-pitched thock to match their weight. The more interesting thing to me with these keycaps, however, is how they feel. The ceramic glaze is cool to the touch, and when the keycaps are clean, they have a nice grip that feels similar to a porcelain plate. I think this topic will be a bit polarizing just because of how different they feel from plastic caps, but personally, I like the way they feel. I've been using these on and off for about two weeks now, and I really like them. When they're clean and your hands aren't too dry, they're really easy to grip and feel nice and luxurious, at least to me. The downside is that they are a bit cold in the mornings and are fingerprint and dust magnets. Unlike plastic keycaps, which permanently shine over time, however, I can just wipe these down with a microfiber cloth and they're good as new. So Cerakee keycaps are supposedly made by injection molding alumina ceramic, a process I know next to nothing about, but one that is apparently used to make parts for extreme applications like ballistic armor, high voltage insulators, and even tooth implants. Apparently this stuff is harder than steel. If you do know a bit about alumina ceramic, please let us know your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to understand some of the upsides and downsides to using this material for keycaps. The only practical thing I can think of is if it's anything like pottery or a plate, the glaze will probably dull a bit over time, but that doesn't bother me as much as the shining I've gotten on plastic caps like GMK keycaps or MacBook keycaps. These feel pretty sturdy, and I doubt they would break if I dropped them on a hard floor. And as you've probably heard from every other video on the subject, they will make any board thock like crazy. And even better, they work with the Topra to MX sliders on my heavy grail. The top two rows on here are ceramic keys, and the bottom three are plastic, and... Yeah, the difference is ridiculous. Yeah, it's absolutely nutty. <laughs> anyway, this is actually a good segue into some of the things that I think could be improved. First, while the keycaps do work with Deskey's MX sliders, in my set, a few caps had clearance issues with the plate when pushed all the way in, causing the keys to get stuck when pushed in hard. That's a very specific problem that won't apply to 99% of people watching this video, but there you go. I also regret not getting the blank set because I think they look way better than the legended set I got. The legends are fine for the most part and pretty crisp, but they feel kind of generic and are the weakest part of this set for me. Also, the kitting isn't too flexible. There's no split backspace support, no ISO support, and you only get a standard 6.25U bottom row, which means if you have custom layout like WinKeyless or HHKB like I do here, you're probably gonna be missing some coverage. Blank legends would help me be a bit more flexible on my layouts on top of looking nicer, but they wouldn't really solve the layout coverage issues that I'm having with the set. And Seraki, if you're watching, please, please put out a Space Guards kit or 40s kit. These are so nice, and if they last anything like ceramic dishware does, I'm hoping that with proper care and maintenance, they'll keep their look and feel for years and even decades to come. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching, and as always, I want to give a special thank you to returning viewers and subscribers. I'll just put the rest of the keycaps on this board and cut to a sound test. See you all next time.